think uh, we are moving on to the demo the demo just a second give me a moment i will set it up yeah. all right okay so let me open okay so this is a revenue cloud okay i am opening up an account itself only and then i'm going to create an opportunity because i'm not sure if we have the one yeah. let me give it a name uh, The first uh, stage I was just not expecting. See, let me create a cute for it, and then I think I can show you. Set it up. All right, so I am at the queue. Now, uh, we talked about, you know, product catalog itself only and then how we can, you know, simply use that. So let's say uh, this is a particular company to which we are selling pharma setup equipment itself only. So I'm going to click on the Ross catalog. Now it's asking me price book. Obviously, as if you know Salesforce, you know, we have to choose the right price book for it. So right now I only have two price book that we are sending it to non-profits and we are selling it to uh, anybody else itself only. So I'm going to use a standard price book. Now it's asking me what type of catalog uh, you want to look at. So I want industry specific catalog. So I will simply choose that. Now I'm getting all the products. Uh, so let's say I want to add, or my secure, I want to add this particular product. So I will add it. As you can see, it has been added over here that I can simply remove and add from over here itself only. And let's say I also want to sell uh, e-commerce pack as well. So I've added that. Let me save the code. As soon as I save the code, I would be able to view the items over here. Just give it a moment. Yeah. As you can see, the products are visible over here. Now, uh, we talked about, you know, like uh, one thing that if you have UCPQ, you are aware, like the pricing doesn't used to update in real time. Like you have to either refresh it or use some uh, QCP or some other kind of tool to have the price reflected in real time. But now we can simply use this and it will reflect in real time, we have the spreadsheet capabilities. Right now it's uh, freeze over here, but I can choose like if I want to freeze up to this column. So these capabilities are also available. And then we have the capability of, you know, uh, searching through the product itself only. Let's say I say pharma, it will, uh, okay. I think I will have to give the entire name, so I will not use that. But maybe I will uh, type in 90,000. And uh, it will work like that, as you can see. So we get that capability as well with it. And if I look at it, just a second, I think I need to. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now we can see the product. Maybe let's me configure it. So I'm going to go ahead and configure it. Over here, I can see the configuration details. Over here as well, I can see instant pricing as soon as I enable it. If I choose the OCR compliance, let's say if I am using US, the pricing will reflect the same, like it's uh, around $800 uh, cheaper. Uh, if I choose EU, it's a little more cheaper. Then I can choose the conveyor system itself only. Again, these are the similar functionality that you used to see in any CPQ platform in our CPQ, earlier CPQ versions as well. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to save and exit. Similarly, I will uh, configure this particular product as well. Ah, no issue, sometime it happens. Again, it is a demo environment, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> it's not a production environment, so yeah, sometime that happens. Uh, I will simply choose a serialization engine as well, and I will simply go ahead and choose a resolution type. Let me enable instant pricing. As soon as I choose a different type of resolution, you will see the pricing reflect back in real time itself only. So you don't have to worry about this or that. Uh, can simply edit it. Now, once we have added it, now I can apply discounts as well. Let me go ahead and use a discount. Let's say if I'm giving a 20% discount on this one and maybe a 22% discount on this one. If I click on save, you can see the price got updated in real time. Okay, let me click on it. And you will be able to see 
you will be able to see pricing you will be able to see pricing over here as you can see you know this is the instant calculation along with a detailed uh, i would say you know uh, breakdown of what the pricing is and why it is what it is so we can see it over here itself only uh, let me submit this particular uh, queue for approval but i think it might not be submitted because we are getting an error yeah uh, no issues uh, somehow the approval process is not working over here but let's say if it's approved okay if it's approved i can create an order for it again again entire life cycle from choosing the product to doing the cpq process cash pr uh, price configure to creating an order creating an order and then creating an, a contract for it itself only so we can do that so i'm not sure if the order got created let me check yeah, the order got created i can simply come over over here and i can simply activate it and as soon as i activate it it would create an, a contract for it as well and then i will have a contract as well from end to end okay so that is possible with this but not we are limited to that itself only but we do get the capability of seeing the asset life cycle as well so let me open up our asset life cycle uh, visibility for you so that you can have an understanding how you can view asset uh, life cycle and what is it that it provides to you how it can help you as a business itself only so let me go to account let me open up a i think i will open okay i will open up this uh, so i am into the accounts i am going to the assets tab over here we can see two assets if i open up one of them uh, so this is a renewal based asset where we are sending them uh, some details on a regular basis i am inside the asset i can see all the information the install number serial number i can have all more information over here but if i go to the dashboard i can see a much more detailed version like we initially sold them just one quantity in uh, the month of june 7th uh, they uh, changed kind of quantity to 3 itself only okay now we are uh, having amendment where the quantity needs to be updated on uh, 8 on the 1st of july and then in the middle of the july itself only we would be having uh, 16th of july we will be having the quantity as 7 so you have that complete visibility how much you sold how the quantity or how the uh, subscription value has changed how much revenue you have generated uh, like from it and you know what is the monthly recurring revenue from it so this is what asset life cycle management is that it provides to us there are many more things that it can do that it can provide to us but uh, maybe we can you know have a look at it in a different environment because we cannot have that all of that set up in the demo environment itself only showing you one more thing that i wanted to kind of highlight so if i go to billing from the contract that we created from the cpq process that we did from the order we created we get billings we get as we talked about revenue is the core crucial thing so we get revenue as well we can see how many invoices are there how many draft invoices are there credit memos all of the information so we have all of that capability all of that uh, scenarios available to us now all the demos that we have done have we have covered agent force how agent force will be helping it how it is enforcing or how it is enabling businesses to do better so over here as well we have done that i have created a small agent force demo it's not the agent that salesforce talked about because it is not generally available uh, it is available but it is having uh, you know certain limitations to it so we cannot showcase it right now so yeah i am uh, going to show you one small brief demo that i have created so this is revenue cloud this is a dashboard i am going to simply jump in to a particular account and to an opportunity itself only yeah i think i will jump over here and i will uh, initiate uh, okay maybe you can remove me from the screen so that i can open up agent force all right i will simply say let's say i want to create a quote itself only uh, just a second create a quote for me q3 uh, printing and set up let's say i am going to create that for me and along with that i'm saying uh, 
Okay. I'm just see. I'm just remembering what all the information. Uh, yeah, we will need to provide how long we want it to be. For twelve months. Okay. Uh, add five units of camera systems and six units of. I think what was the name of the product? Let me just copy it. I have to copy the name. I don't want to <laughs> type this name entirely. So yeah, just to showcase you how it will work. And I will simply press enter. It will create a queue for me. It will give me the information as well. Again. All of this is configured inside Agent Force itself only via point and click only. We haven't written any kind of uh, you know trigger or uh, complex logic for it. It is going to add that for me. At the moment, it's creating one. Hold on. Yeah. See, it has created a cute. I can simply go over there and look at it. But let's say I am saying you know I am not okay with that. Uh, apply uh, twenty percent discount on camera systems and 10% uh, discount on the uh, product that we had earlier created let's say I want to apply a uh, discount itself only so we can simply type in and it will apply that for me I don't have to you know open it up and then uh, you know deep uh, go deep into that it will do that for me as you can see, it has applied the discount as well. And if I go to the quote, I can see that. Just a second. We can come over here and we can see that the pricing ad added and the quantity is also added. So it's over there. Now, let's say I want to, you know, simply, uh, uh, I want to simply, you know, create a, PDF for it and I want to email it to the customer. So Qt has been created. I want to send an email to it. Now I'm going to utilize the capability of Agent Force for generating the email content for me. So for uh, my pad, I think it uh, I think let's use that one. Okay. I will draft an email. So I can use a, you know, uh, already prepared uh, prompt template to generate that for me so i'm going to generate it and it will generate the email content for me as well as you can see it has generated so i can simply use that and then it will allow me to you know uh, don't i don't have to put in my time in writing the sim uh, doing the menial job it can do all of that for me i fo i can focus more on building relations and then uh, you know identifying how we can provide more value to them and then use that so with agent force we can do that and with cpq uh, not cpq but revenue cloud advanced we can do much more than cpq itself only so yeah, this was the brief demo that i wanted to kind of uh, provide so yeah, that's it from the demo side <laughs>